Hey guys, this is Slimin. Uh, today's video we're just going to be taking a look at uh, Registax version 6. Just be doing a quick tutorial here for you on the planet, planet Saturn. Um, so I'm going to go in here and hit select and pick one of my AVIs. See I have some moon here, some Saturns here. I'm just going to go to my libraries and my videos and take this one. Wait for it to load down here, 67%, 100%, and we'll hit open on this guy. So open that up, let it go here. Sorry, my computer's a little bit slow. Okay, so there's the planet, and we can scroll through, if we take this little cursor here, all of the frames, and you want to pick out one that looks the best to you and use that as your reference frame. So you can see a little bit of the Cassini division in these. So I'm going to try and find one that looks really good. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to click set a line point see where it puts them. I'm going to put one more right there. So that looks pretty good right there, those custom line points. And now I'm just going to hit align and let it go. Okay, so we have three choices on our next step for limiting our frames. Uh, you can either go lowest quality percentage, best frame percentage, or your frame slash A point best frames. I like to do the best frames percent, and usually I take about 55 to 60 percent of the best frames. Um, once I do that, all I do is click limit. Keep all this the same. It's just what I do. Okay, so we've limited and we've aligned our frames. Now I'm gonna, what I like to do is I like to click show stack graph. And this is going to bring up a list of all your frames. And you can drag this slider down here and see how it limits, and it, it even cuts off the frames even more. And I like to stick it right about the top of an imaginary line of the best frames. So the best frames are up here. I like to take it right about in between there just like that. So we're going to stack 2,584 frames and I like to just hit stack after that. Let it do its thing here. Alright, now that we're done stacking you can see the planet looks a lot smoother. Uh, it does have a little bit of atmospheric distortion around the globe of the planet and the ring itself. Uh, but let's go over to the wavelet tab now. Let that load up here. And what I like to do is I just like to boost the first layer 100% and see how it looks. If you can see there, it spiced it up pretty good. You can easily see the Cassini division. It looks really natural. It looks good. It doesn't look over processed at all. I'm not even going to denoise or sharpen it at all. Um, a lot of people when they boost up these values all the way they'll start to get a little bit of noise or they'll get a really great image. Typically I don't really use the denoise and the sharpen tools a whole lot just because I don't think they make it look that good or you just lose data from it. Then uh, once I'm done with that come over here to the histogram and I open that. Then I just chop it off uh, about right there and hit stretch. So after your your graph flattens out. That'll make it a bit darker. And then I'll take the other side and come to the end as well and hit stretch again. See it doesn't look too bad. Um, next thing I'll do is I like to get my planet in natural color. You can tell it kind of looks a bit green. Uh, just hit auto balance on the RGB balance tab. There we go. Our planet is now a lot more natural looking. Uh, you can denoise or de-ring a little bit if you'd like. I typically don't. Uh, RGB align I find doesn't do too much for me. I, I actually like the look of this image right here a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit do all. That's going to fill in these edges here with all the changes that I made. So the wavelet change, the RGB change, and the histogram change. That actually looks pretty good to me. 
I like how it's off, offset from the center, almost gives it uh, an orbital uh, look to it. I didn't do that on purpose, but I, I like it. So next I'm just going to save that. And yeah, I'll overwrite that. I'll be done. So I am going to show you some before video and then the, the final image after stacking in, uh, in Registax. All right, so you can see how each frame's picking up a little bit of data. You get a little bit of the cloud bounding in Saturn and a little bit of the Cassini division, but a lot and a lot of atmospheric distortion, but you're not getting really a clear image. And where the beauty of the stacking comes in is it takes the good data from all these frames and combines them into one. Aligns aligns itself, combines them into one, and then you can increase those in the wavelet tab in Registax and you end up getting this. Okay, well that's really all there is to it. So thank you for watching today. Uh, I do apologize about my computer. It is pretty slow and it's not the best quality for video recording, but I hope that uh, helped you get a sense of how to use Registax. It's really not hard, hard to use. It's pretty easy once you start playing around with it to get the different wavelets and tabs. But anyway, thank you for watching again. I hope you guys have a good day.